It's time to feel the beat! Uh, 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 uh. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider Saber Rider Kicks figure, Kamen Rider Slash. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have Slash, his name is Kamen Rider Slash. On this side we have other riders in the series. On this side we have Slash again, up top, Rider Kicks figure. On the back of the box we have our obligatory product shots. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the bottom we have words and things and... Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for... The packaging that knocks stuff over. Then, moving right along here, we have a common Rider Slash, the next of our writers from the series. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. And definitely the most interesting design, uh, the most interesting suit design for this series so far. You can see the helmet there, done in pink. You got some metallic blue, some more pink in there for the visor. And you got some pink there for the blades, some black. Also some white in there, so you got some nice contrasts. But yes, yeah, very interesting suit design. It's the whole has a lot going on here. <laughs> you can see the multicolored sections there. Some more pink. We got brown in there. White shoulder pads. We got the belt, the holders going on the legs. Got the brown, the white, the pink. There's little feet. And the back, not too much to talk about. It's all just unpainted, but oh no. Yeah, very, very interesting suit design there. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, can look down, and can do a full 360, although you might pop it off just due to the collar. <laughs> But can do a full 360 if you're careful. Our arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. As you can see, the shoulder pads are on hinges, so they'll move out of the way for you. And the shoulders are on a ball joint at the base, so they can move up and down a little bit. Forward and back some. You get your bicep rotation. You get slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Wrist rotation, which is quite snug on mine. Uh, that upper torso joint which is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly, crunch, rotation, all that good stuff. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward, pretty far. You get some rotation at the hip. Nice deep knee bend there. And the feet are on the ball joints, they can move up, down, tiltage, and you have your rotation. So now let's run through the accessories. Uh, you do get a couple optional hands. Of course you get... The uh, just kind of relaxed open hand there, as they all come with. You also get the hand holding a Wonder Ride book. And as always, I'm just impressed by the detail on it. Even the little speaker is there and everything. I know I say that every time, but still, it's impressive. It's impressive. But there you have that. And of course, you get his sword, the Onjuken Suzune. There it is, with some nice metallic paint on it. And again, all the detail that is supposed to be there is there. So very, very nicely done, down to a symbol right there. You got the open Wonder Ride book. And the other side, again, nicely detailed. Looks really good. So you have the sword in its sword mode, and you also get the sword in its gun mode. Getting that metallic paint on it. Looks quite, quite good. Really dig that. So, of course, you can have him holding either. So, uh, in this particular form, he has it in sword mode. So, there you go. He gets slash, 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 because his name is slash, 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 slash. So, there you have that. And he does come with parts to do his form change. So here are the parts for uh, Bremen, Bremen no Rock Band. You can see the arm piece here with the instruments on it. You can see the uh, speaker shoulder pad there. 
And all we're doing here is we're just uh, popping up the shoulder pad. Just pull it up and it should unclip. And you take the new shoulder pad and just push it down. And it should uh, snap into place. There we go. And then we just have to uh, rip off his arm and pop in the new arm like so. And he needs a hand. We got to give him a hand. <laughs> ah, I know, I know. Let's see if we can get this on because usually these hands are really... Oh, there we go. That popped in actually quite easily. There you go. And of course, to be accurate, we need the sword in its gun mode. There we go. Now he's in his Bremen no rock band mode. So that's pretty cool. Hey, you got the option, and as always, options are good. And now for comparison, let's see if we can get all these guys in the shot. We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to give it the old college try. Just uh, just be aware, I, I, I didn't go to college, but you know, hey, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. Let's see what we can do here. I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. And we made it work. There we go. So there we have <laughs> our riders. Hey, they look good together. Very diverse, very colorful. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So <laughs> there you go. So there you have Slash, and yeah, it's a nice figure for what it is. It's a decent figure for what it is. You know, like I always say when I review these RKF figures, you know, if you want them chock full of paint ash and articulation, just wait for the figure art. But as it goes, you know, these are fine if you just want to have a representation of the character on your shelf. Like I said, they're decent for what they are, so. There you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my common Rider Saber playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Writer Saber, Writer Kicks Figure, Common Writer Slash. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek! Be proud. Home in your face! So have you seen the new guy? Another one? Yeah, yeah, another one. And explosions! Aw, oh, seriously, what was that? Sorry, that's not my fault. It's the book.